This is a brand new 2021 Princess V50. Actually, it's not brand new because we sold it and the guys just bought exchanged it. But today I'm asking, why is this boat so desirable at the moment? So what we'll do, we'll have a quick walk around inside in a moment. Um, I just wanted to show you these hull windows. Look at these lovely glass, big glass blade windows all the way down. This is what sets it apart from the V48. Anyway, let's jump on board and get to it. Okay, so the V50 comes in two different versions. The open version, which is this one, which has the garage, and the deck version, which has the glass doors and no garage. They're both very popular, depending on what you want to use the boat for. The garage also has the sunbed on top. Now, I was gonna put these uh, sunbeds for the bow on the bow, but actually I thought, do you know what? It gives you a chance to see the quality. This is what you don't see. This is underneath the sunbeds. You see it's beautiful stainless steel, teak, screwed, riveted, and beautifully made. And this adjusts it so you can, uh, when you're lying in the sun, you can adjust the, um, the backrest height. Just gives you an idea of some of the quality you can expect on a princess. I want to show you the difference between the deck and the open version of the V48 stroke V50s. So I'm gonna cut away in a second. I'm tra teleporting myself to the workshop where we've got two side by side, and I'm just gonna quickly tell you the difference between the open and the closed versions. Okay, so I'm now in the workshop, and we just happen to have a V48, which is the same as the V50 apart from the hull windows, garage version, and we have the glass deck version. So I can show you the difference. So just to remind you, the boat I've just been explaining to you about is the open. So we have the garage, the high-low, and the sun pad, but no glass doors, as you can see. As you can see in there, there's no glass doors. Now, I'll quickly just jump onto this one. I'll show you the deck version. So, this is the deck version, and instead of a garage here, you have a locker, which is actually quite deep, and you've got, instead of a sunbed, you have this half cockpit seating area, and then, instead of being, this being open, you have these glass doors. Now this is designed for the Northern Hemisphere, so UK, Scandinavia, and it was designed to actually keep the heat in. But actually we found in very hot countries it's quite handy for keeping the heat out, because you can air condition this. So if you jump on quickly, I'll just explain the differences inside. So you've got this seating area here, and then in here, because this is not a wet version, this cockpit keeps, this saloon keeps dry, you've got soft furnishings as if you had an upper saloon. Whereas the open version has got teak floor, it's designed to take a bit of salt spray. Also, on the deck version, this area here is all cut out. Can you see, you've got loads of room here. So you've got loads of room for light to come down because this, is, this, this roof opens here, and this is more open, even though this is the deck closed version. Are you keeping with me? Also, on the deck version, they move the electrics up here. On the open, it's down there, and the cabin door changes for the aft cabin from here on the open to here on the deck. Can you just see that? So on this deck version, the door to the aft cabin is there, and on the other boat, it's there. So, I think you've got it all, so let's go back to the boat. Okay, so you can now see the difference between the two versions, and I can show you the rest of the boat. So in the cockpit, you can see you've got lots and lots of space. Big table here. Um, I'm six foot one, and I've got 18 stone. You can see we can probably get one, two, three, four of us here, and maybe another two there. So five or six people comfortably. Great view out the windows, as you can see from both sides. 
loads of headroom, even with me stood up, you can see I've got loads of headroom, I've still got loads of headroom here. You've also got the barbecue area here with a little sink and you've got in here you've got the bin and then you've got some cold storage in there which is quite handy and you've got some more um, fridge space in here. This is an addition to down below, I'll just show you that. Actually it's an ice maker, so it's not a fridge. Um, and generally it's really, really well finished. Really, really nice. You've got the sound system, speakers, etc. So now we'll go and have a look at the helm. Okay, so this is the helm. You've got this boat's got the Raymarine touchscreen uh, GPS. It's got bow and stern thruster, which is unusual actually, because it's got IPS. So um, not many boats have the stern thruster with it. This boat's also got a generator with air conditioning and reverse cycle um, heating. So it's got everything. Um, you've got all the VHF down here. You've got the loudspeaker and all the switches here for the various nav lights, windscreen wipers, etc., etc. A very clean dashboard. Notice how it's all dark as well, so it doesn't have the glare. Um, and if you open the electric roof, uh, you can stand up with ease. I mean, as you can see, I won't bother opening it because it's a little bit windy today. <laughs> but in it with ease, you can see over the windscreen. Again, lovely finish, really nicely made. Oh, it's got the shout window as well, which is here. So you can put that window down. And if someone's just putting the fenders out, you can ask them to bring them in. Oi, bring those fenders in. Works a treat. Let's just try the horn as well. A good horn. Has it got a good horn? <laughs> Oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> That's twin air horns. Right, we'll go and have a look down below. Okay, so this is the saloon. Um, it's, they're slightly different on the um, open and the deck versions. Um, the door on the deck version is there that goes into the aft cabin, but I'll show you that in a minute. This customer had all these lovely little treads put on the stairs. Underneath them, actually they're glued down, but underneath them is the two metal strips. It's quite homely. But if you didn't want those, we can remove them. You've got the galley here, and you've got the big fridge freezer here. Can you see that? Just, just big, you know, domestic size fridge freezer. Lovely sink and oven, um, hob, microwave, and it's got a dishwasher. You've got the cutlery in here, which is all included at no extra cost, sir. And if you look carefully under here, I've got all the glassware. I've got the cups, which got a little princess crown on it. Look at that. They're made by Lego Limoges France. Sounds very expensive. And we've also got some more plates, which are nice. And they've got the little princess crown on too. So they're all in there. So, um, you've got this, so this table here converts down into making another berth here. Um, so this is a, an occasional berth because the boat has got two cabins and this is extra sleeping. This is the forward cabin. It's got scissor berths. I won't spend much time in here, but it's got a lovely wardrobe. It's got the air conditioner. It's got loads of light. Again, lovely details. Really, really nice. And you've got a little bathroom here, which I'll just quickly show you which can be used as a day head, or you can use it as the, because it's got another door here, you can use it as the ensuite for the forward cabin. I just want to show you some little details. Look at that sink, isn't that a beautiful little sink? And loads of storage underneath, big shower. I think it's even big enough for me. Let's get in. So it's really good. And now we'll go and have a look at the aft cabin. So if you come back to the aft of the boat now, you'll come and see the master cabin. Excuse the mess, we've still got some cushions and some of the owner's stuff on here, but we've got this storage here and we've got the sock sofa here. Now a lot of people have asked me, can you demonstrate the sock sofa? So I will just demonstrate. So what you use this whole sofa for here, 
is you get your sock like this, you put your sock on like that. It works beautifully. Do you see how easy that was? <laughs> then I want to show you. <laughs> I want to show you the. Uh, it's got a little toilet in here. Now I must say this is very little, so don't get excited. <laughs> don't you won't be. Able to, but the toilet's behind the door. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on the sink as you can see. And if I turn around on the spot, the shower is here. So this is compromised. I'll be honest but at least it gives you an ensuite in the back of the boat. Now I have stayed on one of these boats with my family. I've got three young kids and it worked very well actually. They had that bathroom, we had this one. Uh, one of the children slept in the saloon. The two boys were in the front fighting most of the time and we had this space here and it worked really well. So I think this brings me on to why this boat is so popular. So, why is this boat so desirable at the moment? Well, it came out as the V48 in about 2015, 2016, with the two versions. At the time, I was selling new Fairline Targa 48s. I remember at the Southampton Boat Show, whenever customers looked at the Targa 48, they loved it, but they loved the V48 stroke V50 more. And I asked them, why did they prefer the V50? And I think it's just the attention to detail, whether it's these tables, the two-tone uh, fabrics, all this stitching, all these things, all the beautiful woodwork down below, it all adds up to feeling absolutely exquisite. It's also a two cabin boat with the third convertible option in the saloon. So if you've got three kids like me, you know, it's actually the perfect boat to go sailing on. And as I say, I've taken one of these on holiday for a week or two and living aboard is fine. Now, the other thing that I think is attractive about this boat is the price. Um, when they sell these new, or when we sell them new, I always thought to myself, and I hope Princess aren't watching, but I always thought to myself, this boat's a bit cheap. Uh, when you compare it against the Sunseekers and the Fairlines and all the other boats out there, it always seemed really good value. I'm not pretending that 900,000 is not a lot of money. It is a lot of money, but I think it's good value. The prices have got more expensive now over the years, but I still think for a twin diesel, two cabin with the conversion in the saloon, it's a very, very difficult boat to beat. So in summary, why is this boat so desirable? I think it's so desirable because it's beautifully made and the price is right. And it's as simple as that. Also, I just wanted to say, we've got over 200 boats in stock, even during these current busy times. We've got boats everywhere, from little jet skis up to massive super yachts. So do click on boats.co.uk and have a look at what we've got. Right. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoy our videos, please press pr press the subscribe. <laughs> Come on! Press the subscribe button.